All right, so let's talk about uh, hanging in there. And you, you, you've, you've said it and you've received it where people walk by or you tell people the only encouragement, uh, encouraging thing that you know what to say is, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come together for you. And I, I really don't like the term hanging in there unless it's used in the right way. One thing that you have to understand is, is hanging in there is not a passive participation, man. It's, it's, it's an active sport. And so the real, uh, the real philosophy behind hanging in there is active. And so many times what happens is, is, is when we think of hanging in there, we think that you're just this, this, this big lump like this turkey. You're just sitting there waiting for something to come by and waiting for fortune to pass by and drop it into your lap because I was hanging in there. Don't work that way. Hanging in there is something that you have to actively do. And there's been times before where you've lost deals or lost in circumstances because you didn't hang in there long enough. And so that gets frustrating. And you say, man, I, I, I turned back too soon. I quit too soon. I rang the bell too soon. How do I learn to hang in there? The only way that you learned how to hang in there is by learning how to hang in there. It's what quarterback coaches call pocket presence. So pocket presence for quarterbacks is when they drop back, they, instead of taking off running, if they're one of those running quarterbacks, they sit in the pocket and they look for opportunities. It's that maturity part of it, of, of being able to actively look. But hanging in there, you must be active. And it's gotta be active in three things. It's gotta be active mentally, emotionally, and physically. Mentally, emotionally, and physically, that's the way that you hang in there. If one of those is disjointed, if you're emotionally not in there, then the physical part of it's not gonna, you're not gonna be hanging in there either, and that's gonna convey to the message, uh, to the customer, if you're, or the situation. If you're mentally not hanging in there, then your emotions aren't gonna line up either. And so you have, you, those three have to be together in order to be able to learn how to mentally hang in there. So the physical uh, part of it is your body language. Your body language has to, I've walked by in, in grinders of deals and seen the salesperson where they look like they just wanted to die. That's what you're selling to your customer. That's what you're selling to your situation. If you physically don't look like that you even want to be there, that you're about to just lose your cookies, then that's going to convey you're not going to get anywhere. Emotionally, you got to emotionally keep it together and that has to line up with your body language too. Dude, you have to. It's not that you don't feel the emotions. It's that you're able to take control of your emotions and push those emotions or manage those emotions so they don't spill over and erupt out. And then it's the, um, it's the mental part of it. The mentally hanging in there, and this is what's important, is not only you're physically still in there, not only you're emotionally able to push that down, but you're also mentally looking for the opportunities, looking for the light, looking for how the two connect, looking for the different dots and saying, ah, I know how to, I know how to put those things together. But you, you won't do it if you check out every time. The, 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 the urge to bounce out of there, the only way that you learn how to hang in there is by mentally, physically, and emotionally. Hang in there and it'll come to you. It'll come about. But first, you got to hang in there. Have an amazing day. Stay in the sales line.